Hey everyone, Zef here, and today we're checking out the official release to Shores of Lossy. I still to this day don't know how to pronounce it, but it's fine. <laughs> this video goes first today because I got an early access to it, like a double early access essentially. I guess rule of thumb nowadays to not repeat myself. If you see a video of me on the exact same hour that the game's released, then that just means I played it before and the video is just ready to go. So Shores of Lossy is an interactive adventure puzzle game where you travel through surreal worlds and environments, compiling together various pieces such as cities, rocks, stuff that's related to where you are currently, and help reclaiming the land for villagers and giants. We've done this before and comparing to the early access patch, there's almost no difference content-wise except for one extra world that unlocks after completing four previous ones that I just realized. So unfortunately I didn't have an opportunity to try it out, but instead I did the second puzzle. My opinion about this project stands the same as before. It's a pretty cool and chill experience, much like passing places, but here you attach different parts and pieces together. So nothing is like out of place, you pretty much build the scenes one by one and that's how the gameplay works. Everything is fairly cool here, it's just that after completing 5 levels there's not much to it and you can't really repeat the game again unless you're into speedruns. As well as I wish the options would have much more variety, cause there's not much really to customize but that's just my personal preference. All in all a very fast official release because it was not long time ago I have played the other one. So congrats for the devs on that and let's build some puzzles. <laughs> We know the gist of the game already, but this release includes a fifth world which was not here before. So we'll check that out in terms of graphics and mechanics. It does not seem like a lot has changed. Yeah, only one option was added. No smooth turning, though it's a puzzle game, so it doesn't really need it. Oh, don't tell me I have to complete all the other ones to reach the... <laughs> No, 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 no. Paul, move, please. Ah, uh, it seems to be the case, though. Why you include a preview, but not unlocked? Like, I don't get it. I'll finish the first one because I do remember it, so we'll take on the second one. Yeah, like, what? Okay. <laughs> okay, that should be it. and explode. It only took seven minutes. <laughs> Yeah, so it was not unlocked by enemies. If I would have additional time, maybe I would spin run this, but it's the developer's choice, <laughs> not mine. We're also on the Quest Pro now, so the graphics are more polished and just more vibrant. Jesus. Winter, my favorite season. <laughs> 
Is that what we're bidding or? Oh, <laughs> it's taller and taller. <laughs> Hello? Oh, <laughs> it's houses on the boat. Ah. Okay, that's gonna be different because I was gonna show you my trick how to play this game, but I'm not sure if this is gonna work here. Essentially, I was looking at the bottom and then just connecting the environments through that. This won't apply here, so this is actually gonna be a challenge. Unless we look at the bridges or something, but... Yeah, no, that's not gonna work. <laughs> People are already walking. I don't know what I'm looking at. Maybe I'll be looking at the ladders. Hey, <laughs> this was surely the solution. Okay. Give me more. Oh. Oh, it's upside down. <laughs> Oh my god, so many puzzles in my way. This is definitely harder than the previous one. There are very small elements where you should look for essentially those bridges. That makes sense. Where are other parts? <laughs> they should appear in front of your face all the time. I think I'm missing something. Oh, <laughs> I can't necessarily reveal all the puzzles to the game stated by the developer. <laughs> Overall, it's pretty much the same. Oh, hello. <laughs> As I played it a couple of months ago. Essentially, if you would rewatch the early access overview from before, nothing changed really. It's just one more puzzle now, which is cool and all. The game definitely stands by the meditation, relaxation and just... Like puzzling pieces, but with cohesive pieces, like build on top of each other. Though I still wish the UI would be much more polished and just more variety in terms of the control, locomotion, the basic stuff per usual. So if you're a puzzle junkie, then this one is definitely fun to check out. Only five puzzles though, so if you go through them, there's nothing to replay. <laughs>